Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Myself, G. Varun, pursuing my education in Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Bengaluru. In this video, I am going to discuss about my topic, sanitary landfills, landfill gas emission and leach formation of waste disposal. Let us dive into the introduction. Sanitary landfills is a waste disposal method that involves burying waste in the ground. Sanitary landfill is a modern engineering landfill where waste is allowed to decompose it into biological and chemical inert material and setting isolated from environmental ground. It is most important commonly method for waste disposal in the world. However, it can be negative impacts on the environment. Let us dive into the main concept of this sanitary landfills. Sanitary landfill design. A sanitary landfill design is a design with multiple layer of materials to preserve waste from contaminating the environment. The bottom layer is made up of a linear, which is typically made up of clay and synthetic material. Modern, modern landfill must be designed with pollution prevent in mind. Modern sanitary landfills must include a linear system, a runoff collection system, a methane collection system, a groundwater monitoring system, and after closure, a cap. Of particular importance is the landfill linear as seen in the figure one. The landfill linears have several layers. First, a layer of soil as a foundation for the waste. Then, a geotextile layer that lets water through but filters out any little pieces of trash. Then, the leachate collection system, which consists of gravel that allows water to filter down to the pipes where it is collected. Under the leachate collection system, linears are required to have a plastic layer in order to prevent leachate formation. Teaching the groundwater and finally linears have an impermeable clay layer to stop any water that may make it flash through the plastic. The top layer is covered with soil and vegetation to prevent erosion and can reduce the odor. Next, we will discuss about the landfill gas emission. Landfill gas is produced when the organic waste decomposed in landfills. Landfill gas contains many different gases like methane, carbon dioxide, oxygen, and many more gases. The methane and carbon dioxide make up 90 to 98% of landfill gas. The remaining 2 to 10% include nitrogen, oxygen, ammonia, sulfide, hydrogen, and various other gases. Landfill gases are produced when bacteria break down organic waste. The amount of these gases depend on the type of waste present in the land. The age of the landfill, oxygen content, the amount of moisture and temperature. For example, gas production will increase if the temperature or moisture content increases. Through production of these gases, generally the reaches a peak in 5 to 7 years. A landfill can continue to produce gases for more than 50 years. Landfill gas emission can contribute to climate change and pose a safety hazard if not properly managed. Next, we will discuss about the topic called landfill gas management. Landfill gas can be controlled and collected and used as a source of energy. A liquid formed when rainwater filter through waste placed in a landfill. When this liquid comes in the contact with buried waste, it leaches or drops out chemicals and constitution from these wastes. It can be used to generate electricity or heat board buildings. Effective landfilling gas management can reduce greenhouse gases emission and generate revenue. Uh, this is the topic of landfill gas management. Next, we will discuss about the main topic called leachate formation. Leachate is formed when water comes into contact with 
waste and landfill. Leachate is a liquid generated from rainfall and the natural decomposition of waste that is filtered through the land to a leachate collection system. The leachate collection system's job is to direct the leachate to collection sums so it can be properly removed from the landfill. The leachate collection system is designed with a minimum 2% slope to drain to the collection sums. The leachate collection sums consist of a HDPE riser and submersible pump. Leachate drain to the leachate collection system where it is transferred to a central collection pump and papered to a onset holding pond. If necessary, the leachate is transported to an approved offset post water treatment plant for disposal. The waste is designed to automatically pump the leachate to maintain compliance with the state requirements. Monthly verification measurements are taken by the independent techniques to ensure regulatory limits and meet and maintenance. It is toxic liquid that contains pollutants and can contaminate groundwater. Proper management of leachate is essential to prevent environmental damage. This is about leachate formation. Next, we will discuss about leachate collection. Leachate is collected using the network of pipes and pumps and that are installed in the landfills. The most leachate is then treated before the discharge into the environment. The most pressed environmental concern regarding landfill is the release of methane gas. As the organic mass of landfill decomposed methane gas is released. Methane gas is 84 times more than effective as absorbed the sun heat than carbon dioxide. The collected leaches is then reached before it is discarded into the environment. Effective leach collection management and treatment can prevent groundwater contamination. Next, we will discuss about the topic called environmental effect impacts that are coming from the sanitary landfills. Improper management of sanitary landfills can have negative impact on the environment. As we know that it may cause soil, soil pollution, air pollution, water pollution, and many more. And it can be reduced, it can lead to soil contamination also. Proper management of sanitary landfill is essential to prevent these impacts. And this may indirectly or directly impact to our human health also. So maximum we have to try to minimize this. Next, we will discuss about public health impacts. Sanitary landfills can have negative impacts on public health if not managed properly. Making it one of the most potent greenhouse gas and a huge contribute to climate change. Along with methane, landfill also produce carbon dioxide and water vapor and trace amount of oxygen nitrogen, hydrogen, and non-methane organic compounds. These gases can also contribute to climate change and create smog it left uncontrolled. The creation of landfill typically means destroying natural habitat for wildlife. The average landfill size is 600 acres with over 3,000 active landfills in a United States as much as 1,80,000 acres of habitat has been lost. It can lead to spread a disease exposure to hazardous chemicals and respiratory problems. Proper management of sanitary landfills is essential to protect public health. This is all about the health hazards from the sanitary landfill. Best practice for sanitary landfill. Best practice for sanitary landfills include proper site selection, effective waste management, and monitoring of environmental impacts. Recycling and compositing can reduce the amount of waste that is sent to the landfill. Proper management of landfill gas 
and leachate can reduce environmental and public health impacts. And we can conclude that the conclusion of this sanitary landfill is sanitary landfill is common waste disposal method, but it can have negative impact on the environment and public health if it is not managed properly. Sanitary landfill leaches consists of very complex mixture of different compounds. To reduce the organic components, ammonia, and the specific cases, other parameters, it is often necessary to combine different treatment steps. In some cases, a combination of process could be helpful to increase the effectiveness of one or more treatment steps and result in the reduction of the leachate treatment cost. There are several combinations of treatment process described that are operated in technical scale. In addition, results from these plans are presented. Effective management of land, gas, and leachate is essential to prevent environmental damage and protect public health. Best practices for sanitary landfill include proper site selection, effective waste management, and monitoring of environmental impact. So this, this is about the topic sanitary landfills. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel.